on Maple Street stopped working the night Jimmy Laszlo died. They say the old watchman's blood seeped into the gears, clogged him up until the whole thing rusted. It took one faulty gear to silence the mechanism. No one ever bothered to clean it up. Since then, the clock tower has become a popular site to take care of unfinished business. Countless bodies rot in the dark recesses of the tower. You can smell the stink from a mile away, but the cops don't come near it. They get their fat checks and turn a blind eye. Tonight, only one of us would make it out of here alive. And my mind was made up. That man was going to be me. My name is Frank Sorelli. I used to be a hitman for the Marchesa crime family. But I put all of that life behind me now. It all started ten years ago, back in the 30s. An old friend of mine, Paul Visconti, brought me to his joint. It was a seedy restaurant in a bar downtown. Paul was the kind of guy who loved to break the law just for the hell of it. Never saw a guy who liked it so much. During Prohibition, he served alcohol by the barrel, but as soon as it was legalized, he stopped selling and he turned to dealing narcotics. Sure, his restaurant seemed legit on the outside. In the best of times, you could even get a pretty good steak. But the dark back rooms were where the joint really thrived. There you could get anything you wanted. Drinks, drugs, and broads. Anything you could think of. Paul Visconti could cook it up for you. At a hefty price. It was at Vasconti's that Paul introduced me to Salvatore Marchesa, Don of the Marchesa Crime Syndicate. I was down on my luck and had lost what little savings I had to a gambling addiction. Paul begged the Don to give me a job as a favor, and the Don accepted, under one condition. Once a part of this family, always a part of this family. It was then that I met Vinny. Vinny the Gun Moretti. Welcome to the family, Frank. He was the most gifted man with a Tommy gun I'd ever seen. And he was the Don's favorite hitman. Over time, I earned Don Marchese's trust. Within five years, I was doing hits with Vinny. But I swore I would never become like him. Vinny was a true psychopath. He enjoyed killing, he even looked forward to it. For him, it was as regular as clockwork. A fact of life, as natural as breathing. Eat, sleep, kill. I did it because it was my job, but I didn't have a choice. Or did I? Hey, Frank, what can I do for you? I can't sleep. Something on your mind? Just give me something, Paul, okay? I don't pay you to ask questions. Take it easy, Frank, take it easy. Come around back, I got just the thing. Here you go, Frank. <laughs> Frank. Frank. Why? Why did you kill us, Frank? Your scars run deep. Past the flesh, deep down into the darkest corners of your soul. 
to the place that makes you human. It's dying. And it's a very precious thing, Frank. Very precious. Without it, you're just an animal. Wild and vicious. So answer me. Why? Why did you do it? Answer me. <laughs>